Hi, in this video I'll show you how to highlight cells based on some criteria. So let's say for example we have a table here, we want to highlight cells. In this example I've got uh, sales here, maybe I want to highlight something if sales are greater than uh, 539. You'll notice everything else here falls off, but that'll probably be the only one that stays. If I press enter, that's the only one that's left green, and if I scroll down the table there's other ones that are higher than uh, 539. 539 or greater. So I'll show you how to do this uh, particular highlighting. And that's basically done with a feature called conditional formatting. So if you go under the Home tab, you have this conditional formatting uh, command set of capabilities. So let's see how it's done. Let me go ahead and select this column first. I'll go ahead and select E2, Control Shift Down Arrow. to so select that uh, all those cells, that range of cells that goes all the way up to 193. And I'm going to go ahead and click on, let me go scroll back up here. Then go ahead and click on conditional formatting. And there are a lot of uh, options under conditional formatting. Now you also notice as I, as I hover over highlighting cells, there are different other options here. And there's some to choose from here. Let's, let's go with this for example first. We'll go greater than. So what we're going to say, if it's greater than a certain amount, uh, you can actually hard code in here. Let's say if it's greater than 240. Let's say if it's greater than uh, 275. You notice now it changes dynamically. So we can hard code the value within uh, the field here, or we can reference it to a field that we can change here. So I'm going to reference it to field uh, H4. And so there's nothing in there right now, and so it's going to highlight everything as red. And you can change the different types of formatting for the cell. Uh, if I go under here, there's already some predefined ones. You can do yellow, you can do green, uh, red, but let me go ahead and do a custom format. And so it opens up another window where you can kind of format the cells. Uh, you can format the font color, the font style, the border, if there's a border around it, and the, or the fill. So I'm just going to choose the fill and just kind of to uh, make it like this fill color red, I'm just going to choose this red color. So I'm going to click OK and click OK. And now you notice everything is red because there's no value in here. But if I start to put a value here, let's say uh, 275, press enter, you'll notice now all the other ones here are red. So this is kind of dynamic. So as I mentioned before, you can always hard code it in there or, and then you can't really change it unless you go under conditional formatting and go to manage your rule. Or you can put it into another cell where you can kind of adjust it dynamically. If we say two, maybe we'll say 300 here and we'll only get uh, the ones that are 300 or above. Now, you can also nest the, or kind of nest the conditional formatting. So let's go ahead and choose uh, this set of rows again. Control Shift Down Arrow to choose that. And let me go ahead and go under conditional formatting and go under highlight set rows. And let's say that it's uh, also greater than uh, amount here. Let's say that it's greater than the amount here. Let's say that we have two thresholds here. If it's over 300, 300 or over is going to turn red. If it's uh, a certain amount on in here, we highlighted H5 here, maybe it's going to be yellow. So I'm going to go into conditional format and choose yellow here. Click OK and then click OK. And then for this threshold, maybe I'll say 275. You may have noticed that it seems to have taken over uh, this conditional format, the one that we set earlier. And one of the reasons why is probably because of the way it's placed. So if I go under conditional formatting and go under manage rules, well, let me go ahead and select uh, this range of cells first. Control Shift Down Arrow. And let me go ahead and go back up and go under conditional formatting, go under manage rules. We're going to look at our rules here. And you'll see why, because it's looking at this one first and then it's seeing everything that is over 275, it's gonna make that yellow. So what we wanna do, we, we, we have to be aware of the placement of, the, of these rules. So we maybe wanna have this one go first. So we're gonna resort the order. So that's what these arrow buttons here do. So what, what we're gonna say is, we wanna have this particular conditional formatting occur first. So this criteria occur first, where anything above this, this goes to 300 and then it stops as it goes down the list. And then after that, it's gonna go through this conditional formatting rule and say anything is, let me go and move this down, anything above this, then it's gonna highlight it yellow. So if I click uh, OK or apply, you'll now notice that you know if it's over 300, and these are over 300, it makes it red. If this is over 275, it makes it yellow. So we can kind of nest uh, conditional formatting criteria rules to fit our criteria for ourselves. So you can apply more than one rule for a range of cells. 
Also, in addition to numbers, you can also perform conditional formatting or fit some criteria, highlight cells based on a criteria of text. So let's say, for example, let me um, hit some text here. Let me go ahead and select a row of text here. And I'll go ahead, maybe I'll just go ahead and select uh, this row. Let me go ahead and select A2, Control Shift Down Arrow. And I'll go ahead and go into conditional formatting. And I'm gonna highlight the cell rules if the cell contains, uh, if it contains maybe, I'll leave that, I'll leave that. And I'll show you how to, uh, if, I, if I selected oranges, that's fine. Let me go ahead and click OK. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under the uh, manage rules option and take a look and see what we have here. So the reason why I'm showing this is it gives you a further option to edit the rule that you just made. So you can go under here and make new rules. Uh, you can go edit rules, you can delete your rules. So we have those options available. Let's say that I wanted to edit that rule. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit. And it gives me another window where it provides more options. So you can see that this is kind of a, uh, going through the styles group and conditional formatting, uh, they give you kind of a, a set. But when we go into the editing the format rules or if you do a new rule, you have kind of a wider set uh, of things that you can uh, do. Let's say I have the specific text and maybe I want to say it, it doesn't end with the letter S, right? So it doesn't end with the letter S. So I'll go ahead and click that, click OK. Uh, I can click apply and kind of see what happens. And everything has an S in here. Pierce has S, except for this one item here, it doesn't have an S. So that shows that we can go ahead and set some criteria to highlight cells uh, based on text. You can also base it on errors or blanks. So let's say for example, I go into this cell, I go control shift down arrow to select this range of cells and go under conditional formatting, go to highlight cells, and we'll say that maybe, let's see, text that contains, let's see what it has here, text that contains. It doesn't have that option available for us. Well, so what I can do is I can go ahead and cancel that and I can go under uh, for conditional formatting and make a new rule. So it's gonna bring up that window that I showed you earlier and we wanna deal with uh, text. So we're gonna go under format cells that only contain. So in this example, what I wanna do is I, I put an error uh, message or an error type of, of value in here. So maybe I wanna look for cells uh, that contain an error. So if there's a cell that contains an error, it will highlight that for me. So I'm gonna highlight that, maybe I'll highlight that uh, purple. So I'll go ahead and click okay and click OK. And if I scroll down just a little bit, you'll notice that this is a, a cell that I uh, put an error in there, uh, uh, pound sign NA, that's one of the uh, error values in Excel. It highlighted that everything else is not an error. So that's what it's done for me. So there's a lot of ways that you can highlight a cell based on some criteria, whether it be uh, value, it could be dates, it could be uh, text. And so if you go under highlight here, Pretty much if you select some of these options, you want to do some, some simple highlighting, um, this will probably suffice for you. Um, more rules, it'll kind of give you more rules if you go under this, this and you can select a, a cell value, you can do some text, you can do dates, you can do blanks or no blanks, errors, no errors, and depending on what you choose, let's say for example, if I, depending on what you choose, it will give you options or sub options to go ahead and create some conditional formatting where you can uh, highlight cells based on some kind of criteria. And this preview here, this preview box gives you the format where you want to highlight it. You may want to change the text color or you might want to change the borders or you might want to change the, the fill color. So it gives you a lot of options that you can choose from. Also, one more thing that I probably want to cover is uh, there's this other option under conditional formatting where it lets you choose duplicates. So this is kind of helpful if you've got, you want to see how many duplicates that you have on a list. You can go into highlight cell rules and click on duplicate values. I will just select the default light red, right? So we, we notice that uh, east, of course, there's duplicates because there's duplicates in each row here. And if I go under uh, here, there's a lot of duplicates. So if I called something, if I made something, let's, let's call this east, west, that will automatically be unselected. There's no highlighting color because that's going to be the only option there. Everything else is either, either east or west or north or south. So. That gives you a kind of a tip to uh, weed out duplicates or kind of highlight duplicates within your range of cells. So there's a lot of things you can do to highlight uh, cells based on certain criteria. And that's basically using the conditional formatting here. So there's a brief overview of how to highlight cells based on some criteria. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.